Hey guys, it's Gretchen here. Friday night in my pajamas. I got my new phone. I have to tell you the whole story because I was trying to tell you last Friday and the phone rang and it just cut it off and I would have had to start all over again. So I'm a bum. Uh, just got back from vacation. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Have you up on the tripod? So I downloaded this app. So just my peanuts pajamas on. This is a little chilly out there. Um, download this app so I could hopefully pause, flip the camera around, and am I looking in the right spot? I think so. And totally forgot where I was even going with this. Um, so last Friday, I was recording my video and the phone rang and it and I was using my mom's phone. So now I got this iPhone. It just came in yesterday. It was here when we got back. And uh, here the dryer is, is spinning. I'm gonna have to finish, you know, go full close here in a minute. But let me try to turn it around and see what happens. I think it worked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is excellent. Let me turn this light on. This is what happens when you go on vacation and you come back. <laughs> And you just offload everything onto the table. Yes, I'll do hauls and all that. Show what I got. Check this out though. I actually went to that store, Daiso. And got me cleaning slippers. Microfiber nibs on the bottom. So I can walk around and dust my floors. But in my slippers. Oh yeah. True thing. I said I have to get them, of course. So you can see there just lots of stuff. I'll show you Bella. She's out there sunbathing but there's no sun she doesn't even know we're even watching her I have I think it's spiced apple from Kringle going in the centerpiece and then over here I have this uh, triple triple wick no not triple wick triple dry layer candle going yeah, I'm still recovering, jet lagging a little bit. I gotta show you my little pumpkin. I we went to the um, pumpkin patch Wednesday. We were looking for corn. They were already sold out of sweet corn, but I got this little pumpkin and threw them in my bag. And then bunches and bunches of other stuff. So I'm just walking with you out here. Uh, still making a mess. I haven't gotten anything done yet. And I'm trying to think. I had so much stuff again I wanted to show you. Everybody out there. And I just totally forgot. I am just so excited that I can flip that around. And it works. Wow. So, what's up? Can you tell my hair looks so soft today? When you go, you know, you ever shower at someone, some, somewhere else and then you come home and you shower and it's like the change in water, but it only lasts a day. <clears throat> I'm trying different shampoo too, but, uh, when, so we left, I'll tell you if you're in, interested in listening to my story. Oh, what a, what a, what a flight. We left here on Saturday. His, my mother-in-law's 80th birthday was Monday. So we left here Saturday. Uh, Pennsylvania to Washington State is a long flight. It's a lot longer going out than it is coming back, I think because of the jet streams. It's like an hour longer. And I had such a nasty, mean lady sitting beside me. So it was marked to the window, me in the middle, like the monkey, and this old mean lady next to me. And she elbowed me constantly on the flight. And then I finally fell asleep and she tapped me and woke me up and I'm like, you know how you're coming to, like, where am I? And I said, oh, I'm sorry. And she was tapping my shoulder. It just made for a rough, rough flight. But the rest of the trip went well. I had a couple of like um, lake uh, muscle spasms. And then we flew back and took, and then took the train and Brett picked us up at the station. So I did a lot of like running around out there and 
uh, me and my mother-in-law, we went to uh, Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby and Joann's and Michael's and Dollar Tree, the grocery store, you name it, we hit it. And then we went out to her, for her birthday, we went to dinner and um, we also, and then me and Mark, uh, taste for, I gotta get my day straight. Wednesday, no, Thursday, no, we came back on Thursday. Wednesday, we went up to right below Seattle and I hit the Daiso store because I'm like, I gotta go see what it's about. Um, it was okay. I'm nothing like, I wish I had one here because it was a lot of like kids, you know, kitty stuff to me. But I did find a couple of cute things and I'll do my own little Daiso haul on that. And then we went over there, we went to get something to eat. We went to a place called Herfie's and had a hamburger and then we went, Tuesday morning was right next door, like walking distance. And I walked up and and checked out the goods, what they had. So that was my vacation, first half. Now I'm off today, today's Friday. And now tomorrow we head up to my sister's, where my mom, my you know, it's my mom's house but my sisters live up there and they have the shop. So if you're going to be at the Bedford Fall Foliage Festival, definitely stop in and say hi. I don't know if anybody will make it. I think Christy said she was going to swing by. Um, I don't know if she's sitting up or not. She's uh, the owner of Mimi's Tart. So um, that would be cool to see you, Christy, if you make it, if you watch this. And I'll be hanging out with them for the weekend and then my back to work on Monday. I should have taken Monday off. I was going to and my coworkers off and I didn't want to, you know, screw her and I guess screw the company an extra day, but I should have. Anyways, that's a quick wrap up of my vacation. <laughs> um, doing laundry. I want to grow out and go out in the garage um I empty my like air my suitcases out after I bring them back just to you know just leave them out there for the day and then I'll bring them in but I had emptied we half and halfed it because I was afraid the luggage weighed the 50 pounds and then you have to pay extra but one suitcase was 30 pounds the other one was 25 pounds we were good but I did half and half the clothes and the goods but we had we didn't take an empty suitcase out. We actually had her birthday present and a couple other things I was just gonna give her that um, instead of mailing them. So that freed up a lot of space to put stuff in. Oh, and you know what else I did wanna show you? I have to pause you real quick. Okay, I took you off the tripod. I figured just easier to come out here. My mother-in-law gave me this to put on my table. She has a couple of them. She had three of them and she gave away two while I was there. But uh, it's just a sheer spider web. Her house is so cutely decorated for Halloween. So cute. And then me and Mark actually stopped at Bass Pro Shop. Um, main reason why I wanted to check out this, I know the swizzle melts, what are they called? Swizzle, swizzle melts are there. And I got the bourbon, bourbon maple sugar. And it smells really creamy. Also the apple and spice, very spicy cinnamon. So neat, a little pricey, six ninety nine. Hmm. He got a pair of pants and some hot sauce. Oh, that dryer! I gotta get to it. And then I got there, and my mother-in-law gate said, hey, "Happy birthday!" It was all wrapped and everything. So. I'll show you what she got me for my birthday. She knows me so well. So there's the wrapping paper it was in. What there was a there is a card. Some centerpiece cups, a coconut beach. Home sweet home. That's what I'm smelling. Oh my goodness, I could not figure out smell like laundry detergent. Catching rays, so one of these is really, really strong. Lemon lavender. Hope they're not leaking. I don't see any leaks. Vanilla cupcake. Hmm, just checking for a leak. Midsummer's night. And that's what I'm smelling. Wow, we. Whoo, doggies. She goes, Do you like that? And I said, Uh, I said, but Brett will like it. He'll put it in his room. Honey Clementine, 
and Home Sweet Home. So she got me the matching set on the Home Sweet Home. So that is what I'm smelling. That that infused itself into almost everything in the suitcase. Wow. Sorry guys. It's just it's like knocking me out now that I opened the box. Some chocolate. Chocolate Extreme, Seattle Chocolates. My card. And then these chocolates. I never even, you know what? I never even opened them and offered. Ah, oh, that's a bad, that's a bad birthday girl right there. And then she just said happy birthday. On it. But she didn't miss my birthday. She called me on my birthday. She, I didn't, and I did not expect a present. So it was very, very nice of her to get me something for my birthday. And she said, I said, oh, you went to the Yankee store? She goes, no, uh, Fred, Fred Myers or grocery store, and they carry Yankee. So she must have done a little shopping during her grocery time. Very nice. Showed you my tablecloth she gave me and my drizzle melts from Bass Pro Shop. Um, let me pause you. Here's the tank. She came in to get something to drink. Okay, turned you around. Still having my hand. I only came back out here so I could do my money challenge. Uh, let's see. I think it's weak. Sorry. Trying to get used to his phone. There's no case on it whatsoever. So I don't want to drop it. It's supposed to be shatter resistant. I'm not sure. You know me. I'm, I'm still in the 4S phase. And this phone really made me mad when I first started messing with it. But anyways. It's Friday. Busy weekend ahead. I got lots of videos that should be coming up. And... I'll get those all up. And I also downloaded another app that splices videos together. So I should be good to go. I think I was staring at something up at the top. I don't know. Money challenge. I looked on my bill book and saw where this ends next month. Yes, it's October. I totally forgot October. This is over November. So we're down to the final couple weeks. Let me see if I can just lower you like so. I'm not going to look. Uh, I think that's a 21. 21 for week something. Pretty sure because we did both $2. So pretty sure. All right. Well, thanks for hanging with me for a little bit. Listening to my stories. There's lots more, but I could just bore you to sleep that way. It was a really nice trip. But glad, you know, you're always, almost always glad to be back home. And the weekend's going to fly by and it's just going to be that. So, all right. Talk to you guys real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.